How's it going everybody? I'm back with another video. Today we're doing Euro tail lights and I'm just gonna go through how to install them. So let's get to it. First, go ahead and take your before and after pictures. That way you could compare them side by side, post a picture on Instagram, whatever. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and pop the trunk. Go ahead and open your trunk. You're gonna wanna take your carpet on the bottom and just push it forward. And then you have these little, uh, I don't even know what you call these, like little handles. You unscrew them just like you would a normal bolt. There's an example, don't lose them. Place them off to the side, you can do it to all four. Now to remove it, once we have all four taken out, you're just gonna pull forward and uh, it'll pry off. It just takes a little bit of pressure, just like that. And then place it off to the front or take it out of your car, just get out of the way. I'm just gonna take it out, put it off to the side. All right, now with that trim removed, we're gonna take out this plastic tab. Um, it's gonna be best with a pry tool that is meant for it, like a tab remover tool. I don't even know what you would call it. If not, use a flathead or just get your hand behind and pull. Um, just be careful when you do it because you're gonna reuse that. So now go ahead and pull this carpet forward. So I just took out the carpet, just get out of my way at the bottom. Um, the side panel, you're gonna just move it to the side. Um, you have three 10 millimeters. You have one, two, and then the third one's back here. Um, you're gonna need a deep socket 10 millimeter, and we're gonna take those out as well as unclip this for the tail light. You just push in the tab and pull out. All right, so with a three 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter nuts taken off and the clip disconnected, um, you're just gonna pull out the tail light just like so. Oh, let's, uh, let's get this off too. It's just a rubber boot, pull it out, pull out the clip. Now you got your tail light out, just set it to the side. Since I have it out, um, I just wanna do like a little comparison between the two. Um, these are 15 to 17 style. These are 18 through 21 or a current. Um, you can see how these ones are straight bars. Those ones have arches at the top and bottom. And just look at the difference. These ones are red and I have the tint kit on it. I'm not gonna tint these. There's a reason why you spent all that money on these tail lights. It's so you can see the white and clear. Looks way better. All right, now before we put these new ones back in, um, we're gonna need to take off this top panel and put it on the top of this. It's just three clips and they pull straight out. So let's do it. All right, we've got the top piece on. Now let's put the wire and grommet back through the uh, body of the car and we're gonna redo all the steps backwards, putting on the three nuts and then connecting the wire. Okay, all three nuts have been tightened. The clip is in. Um, we're not gonna be using this. This goes to the third brake light. What it does, I don't know, but we're not gonna be using it. It comes with another harness for it to plug into, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. And uh, if it doesn't give me any problems, then I'm not gonna run it. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side, but since mine is a premium, it has a subwoofer. And for that, we need uh, we need torque screws to undo the actual housing. So let's go get those. For the bottom two, it's a T20. And then this top one is a T40. This bigger one here is T40 and then T20s. Okay, there was actually three at the bottom and then you take off this panel. Now we're gonna grab our 13 millimeter and take out the bottom two bolts. All right, we've got them out. Now all you have to do is pull back. Uh, there might be wires connected, I would assume. Okay, yeah, there's a clip. Uh, let's twist it and see what we gotta work with. Looks like there's a tab in the center. Let's push it in. Yeah, that's it. Push in that tab and pull out. Um, don't pull by the cable, pull by the plastic. Um, now we're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. We're gonna take out the plastic uh, push tab and then the three 10 millimeter nuts and unplug and then swap it out. I'm not gonna record the whole process because you already saw me do it on that side. I just wanted to record how to remove the subwoofer, which is super easy, so let's do it. All right, the Euros are in. Everything is buttoned up. They look awesome. Let's go inside and I'll show you how to program them. There is five settings that you could choose from. I like the way that they come, but if you don't, you could change it. And this is how you do it. You push the start button into accessory mode only push your foot on the brake. And then with this dial, you go to right here with the light on four times, one, two, three, four, plus the number of setting that you like. So if you like setting number one, you do the four plus one more. If you like setting number three, you do the four plus three, but this has to be done within six seconds. After that is done, you could take your foot off the brake. You're gonna turn on your hazard for two seconds, turn it off, 
and then you could just turn on your blinker go in the back and check it out see if it's the setting you wanted if it didn't work do the process again you probably took too long on this part right here this you got to go fast so um and if you do it wrong you also have to turn the car off again and then back on into accessory mode repeat you have to do that every time you want to change settings and every time you do it wrong i like the way that it came thankfully it came with the setting that i already wanted to do in the first place but if you want to change it that's how you do it but that is going to be it guys um they came out really good only one complaint that i have is the fitment is not the best there's a big gap up top it fits great at the bottom but the top uh, it's a little wacky try to play with it and it didn't change anything but that's my only complaint you can't even notice it when you're standing back from it even off to the side when you're back you don't even see it so it doesn't matter to me but they came out great if you guys like the video please leave a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more mustang content um, i'm trying to get some more content uploaded but just taking longer than i wanted to um, but yeah stay tuned if you want to see more